Welcome back. We're continuing our discussion on phase diagrams, and I thought we would do a little bit of practice today. So I have a phase diagram for you here, and we're going to try to answer a few questions related to this phase diagram. So let's go ahead and start by identifying the following areas on the phase diagram as either solid, the solid, liquid, or gas phase. So we'll start with this region over here labeled W. And you are correct if you say that's the solid phase. So we'll just put solid here on our little worksheet. X, that is correct. That's the liquid phase. And then Y, that is the gaseous or vapor phase. So we're just going to write gas phase there. Very good. Okay, point Z is referring to that point right there on the graph, and you can see at that point all three phases, solid, liquid, and gas, are in equilibrium with each other. And there's a special name for that point. Do you remember what it is? That is correct. That is the triple point, temperature and pressure. Triple point. All right, what does the term normal mean? When I say normal melting or freezing point temperature, what does normal mean? Yeah, normal means a pressure of one atmosphere. That's the atmospheric pressure on a typical day at sea level. So normal refers to a pressure of one atmosphere. Now, melting and freezing are when the solid and the liquid are in equilibrium with each other. It's the temperature and pressure when the solid and liquid are in equilibrium with each other. Well, the pressure is one atmosphere. So let's see what temperature that is. So we're going to draw a line here until we bump into this equilibrium line for the solid and liquid phase. Then we're going to try to draw a straight line down and see the approximate temperature there. What do you all think? I'm going to say it's about... 13 degrees Celsius. Some of you might argue and say, no, that's 12, Mr. Hummer. Or, no, that's 14. We can be off in the last digit. That's okay. I'm going to stick with approximately 13 degrees Celsius. That's the melting or freezing point temperature normally. Okay, that takes us to the normal boiling point. This is where the liquid and gas are in equilibrium with each other at one atmosphere again. So let's find what temperature that is. We're going to intersect this line right here. This is my liquid gas equilibrium line. Let's go ahead and draw a straight line down. That looks to be like it's pretty doggone close to 40 degrees Celsius. So that substance will boil at 40 degrees Celsius. So we have our normal boiling point and our normal melting points. All right. Well, let's take a look at some phase changes. So let's look at the phase diagram and see if we can describe the phase changes when I give you a certain temperature and pressure and change either the temperature or pressure. So the temperature is 20 and we're going to raise it to 50 at a pressure of one atmosphere. So let's put a couple of points in there. Temperature is 20, pressure is one atmosphere, right? So we're going to put a point right there. And we're going to raise it to a temperature of 50. So right about here, we're going to keep that pressure constant. So it looks like we're crossing that liquid vapor line. Don't you agree? The liquid gas line. And so we say that it's boiling. It will boil. Or we go from the liquid to the gas phase. All right, let's try another one. Why don't you try this one? The temperature is zero and our pressure is 0.4. And we're going to raise the temperature to 30 degrees Celsius, but we're going to keep the pressure at 0.4. So pause the video and let's see if you can do that one without my help. Okay? All right, welcome back. So zero and a pressure of 0.4. So zero and 0.4, that puts me right about there on my phase diagram. Don't you agree? And let's keep the pressure constant, so we're going to stay at 0.4, but we're going to raise the temperature to 30. So we're going to go right over to here. Looks like we're going from the solid to the gas phase. Solid directly to the gas, so we're missing out on the liquid phase. Do you remember what that's called? That's called sublimation, or solid directly to 
the gas phase. Okay, let's try a couple more. I'm going to have to go back and forth here as we read our phase diagram. Let's see if we can change our color so it's a bit easier to see. So now we're at a temperature of negative 10 and a pressure of one atmosphere. <coughs> and we're going to keep our pressure constant. So we're going to keep the pressure of one atmosphere. We're going to raise the temperature to 25. So here we go, negative 10 in one atmosphere. That puts me right up. Let's go right about there. Negative 10 in one atmosphere. And we're going to raise the temperature to 25, but we're not going to change the pressure. So we're going to go right to here. So we're going to go boom. Right? So remember, this is the solid phase here, and this is the liquid phase. It looks like we're going from the solid to the liquid phase. So we're going to say that it melts solid to liquid. Okay? All right, let's do another one. I want you to try this one, a temperature of 30 and a pressure of a half. And we're going to keep the temperature constant this time. We're going to raise the pressure to one and a half. All right, let's see how you did. 30 and a half, so here's 30, and the pressure's a half, so we're going right about there to start with, folks. We're gonna raise the pressure to one and a half, so we have to go up to a pressure of 1.5. So let's see if we can do that, up to 1.5. Looks like it puts me right about there. So here we're going from my gas phase to my liquid phase. So what do we call that when we go from a gas to a liquid? Yeah, it's condensing, isn't it? So it condenses. That's my gas to liquid. Okay, let's try one more. Uh, let's see, let's, time, let's keep it at 30 degrees Celsius. Let's make the pressure one atmosphere. Let's keep the pressure constant and drop it down to zero Celsius. So from 30, to zero at a pressure of one atmosphere. Okay, so let's take a look from 30 to zero at a pressure of one atmosphere. So, boy, it looks like we might need to change colors again. Let's go green this time, okay? All right, 30 and one atmosphere. So we're gonna start right there. And we're gonna go to zero. So the same pressure. So zero's right here, looks like we're going right there, kiddos. So in this direction. So it looks like we're going from the liquid to solid phase, doesn't it? Starting out in the liquid, going to the solid phase. Liquid to solid, what do we call that? Yep, that is freezing. So we freeze the substance, that's liquid to solid. All right. One more question. This is sort of a tough one. Is the solid phase denser than the liquid phase? And then we have to explain. That is a tough one. So let's take a look at our phase diagram. Is the solid phase denser than the liquid phase? All right, let's try one more color. Uh, what do we got left here? Let's go with this uh, orange color or red color. All right, so let's say I'm at um, a temperature of uh, 10 degrees Celsius and my pressure is just over a half of an atmosphere. So we're gonna go right about there to start with, okay? When I increase the pressure, doesn't it stay in the solid phase when I increase the pressure? If you remember for water, its phase diagram, the slope of this line right here was negative it's positive this time. And so for water, when I increase the pressure, since the slope was negative here, it went to the liquid phase, but here it stays the solid phase. That means an increasing pressure goes to the solid. So it must mean the solid has the smaller volume than the liquid. Because when I increase the pressure to get smaller, so to speak, right, it would form a solid. Here, let's try a different temperature. Let's say we're at uh, this temperature here, 13. And let's say that we are right here. Let's change colors. We're getting a little bit mixed up here. So let's change colors one more time. 
say that we're at 13 degrees Celsius. That doesn't help out too much, does it? Let's go green. All right, 13 degrees Celsius. So we're right at the solid liquid equilibrium. When we raise the pressure, it goes to the solid phase, doesn't it? That means the smaller volume is the solid. So the smaller volume is the solid. That means that the solid has the smaller volume, we'll write that down now, but the same mass. So that means that the solid is denser than the liquid. It means the solid would sink in the liquid, the opposite of water. Remember we said water was really unique in that its solid floats in the liquid, but this particular solid would sink because its density increases when I increase the pressure um, from the solid, um, when I increase the pressure at a, at a constant temperature. All right, kiddos, I think that wraps it up for phase diagrams. See you soon. Bye-bye.